Welcome to DML Discovery Metal Legion. It is time for a CD collection update. Having given you a CD collection update probably for about a year now and finally I got some CDs. Well Questy and I went to Exeter a few days ago. I bought a couple CDs and then I decided to uh, travel my own way. I went to Plymouth, got some more CDs and I got a total of about <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I got eight CDs that I've bought. Now, obviously, I can't carry them home because I have to pay, so I will have to post uh, these down uh, back to home, which might be a fortune. In fact, I got a new tripod as well, so that's going to be a lot of money to send send all this. Um, send all this back home but anyway regardless I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you my CDs I collected um, um, mainly black metal actually mainly all black metal actually um, actually I think there's one heavy metal but yeah majority is black metal and there's one death metal album so we'll talk about the death metal album first first up is a band that I really love I have did an album ranking for them Immolation um, and they released a brand new album you might have heard of it Acts of God. This is a really good album overall. Very heavy, one of the best sounding Immolation albums. Great songs like An Act of God, Acts of Terror, Acts of God, Noosa Throne, Shed the Light, uh, Derelict the Spirit. Oh, that cool riff on Derelict the Spirit. Yeah, so Immolation, Acts of God. Got it right here in my tum tum. So, Finally I got, you know I'm a bigger now now Frack fan, you know I got nearly all their CDs. If you followed my CD collection, I think I nearly got all their CDs apart from one. This is finally a new kind of horror. Yes, I think I've collected all a now Nafrak CDs now. New Kind of Horror is one of the weakest albums, but it's still a fucking banger. Great songs like Obscene is Cancer, The Rick of Fear, The Apocalypse is About You, New Bethlehem. New Death Futures, the fucking um, falsetto he gets incredibly high. Mother of Satan, 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 so damn good. The Horrid Strife, yes, it may be a little bit of meat and potatoes by now, Nafrak, but it's still a fucking banger, all about war, and not to mention forward. The machine gun riffs, yeah. Amazing album. Next up, we got, well, an Australian band, and they released an album last year. It's Aquilius Bellum One. Yeah, this is a really good album. Grish is one of my favorites, uh, black metal albums of all time. But Bellum One's incredible. Heavily symphonic, orchestrated metal, elements of black metal, melodic black metal, very dark and evil. His vocals, high shrieks, uh, are great. Interwooded hollows, that intro is amazing. Eternal Unrest, Lucille's Gate, an Imperial Night Sky, like a theatrical masterpiece. Yeah, so Aquilus Bellum 1 got this. Next up is finally, I think I've nearly collected all Cradle of Filth albums apart from um, Principal Made Evil, uh, Principal Evil Made Flesh. And I think that's gonna, I might have, oh, I can't remember, but I got Cradle of Filth, Hammer of the Witches. This is a fantastic album, through and through. Great songs like uh, Yours Immortality, um, Blackest Magic in Practice. What an incredible song that, that Mally. So damn good. <coughs> the Vampire My Side, Onward Christian Soldiers. Great album, love the artwork as well, lots of titties. What more could you want? Cradle of Filth love to implement uh, women, naked women, in their uh, album covers. And next up is Cradle of Filth Cryptorana. Uh, Cryptorana, I think it's called. The Seductiveness of Decay. Yes, it's a really good album, although I feel that their previous album, Existence is Futile, is like, slightly better in my opinion. I got two. Two copies of Existence is Futile. But yeah, great album overall. Heavily symphonic metal. Elements of black metal. But yeah, this is fun. It's melodic. It's catchy. And it's one of the best. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm pleased to say that I probably... I think I have collected all 
um, of this band's discography now. But I got the Creme de la Creme. It's Mayhem, De Mysterious, Dom Satanas. Um, hello, you know I love this album. You know I've been just fucking shilling uh, this band, shilling this album for years now, and it's amazing. It's got the classics. It's got Funeral Frog, Freezing Moon, um, Curse and Eternity, Peg and Fears. It's got everything. This is the thing that started the black. This is the thing that kicked off second wave black metal. It's got Varg's bass on it. It's got Euronymous's cold dark riffs. Absolutely amazing album. I'm so glad I got this. Um, <clears throat> now we go into a bit of a genres change. It's Carpa Diem sees the day. Saxon Carpa Diem. Um, this is an amazing album. One of my favorite albums of the year so far. A lot of people were shitting on this album saying, oh, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be, you know, there's metal albums on Well, go fuck yourself. Stick a breadstick up your ass. But yeah, Carpe Diem is incredible. Age of Steam, The Pilgrimage, The Pilgrimage, it's so damn good. Damn Busters, Remember the Falling, Supernova, very Judas Priestess song, Lady in Grey, Black as Night, Living in the Limit, great album by Saxon, but not at their best albums, but it's one of the best albums of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, finally I got this amazing Behemoth album. This is... This is probably up there to be one of my favourite Behemoth albums now. It is when they were black metal. No, it's not Grom. It is a debut album, Zventief. Storming near the Baltic. Hello. I can't believe I got this. I cannot believe I got this. And I got a fucking cheap as well. It was like eight pounds or something. Holy crap. I'm so glad I got this. It's two discs. It's a special edition. It's got the history of Behemoth. And you know I love Behemoth. And it's got everything. It's got, uh, oh man, it's got Cursed Angel Doom. Bless thee for great, granting me pain. How dwells in ice? I love how dwells in ice. I love how slow that is. Hidden in the fog. Oh, absolutely amazing album. I love it. It's it's much more folkier, and it's it's full on melodic. It's full on atmospheric, uh, 90s black metal as well. But yeah, it is such a good, such a good album to sink your teeth in. But so, I'm so glad I got Behemoth. Zventiev storming near the Baltic. Well, yeah, that's it. So I got Behemoth Zventiev storming near the Baltic, Saxon Carpe Diem, Mayhem Day Mysterious on Satanus, Crypti Oriana, Gretel Filth, Hammer of the Witches. I'm gonna listen to that soon. Aquilus Bellum 1, and now Nafrak, a new kind of horror, and Immolation at Acts of God. No, it's Acts of God. Oh, yeah, so let me know what CDs you collected. We'll be um, doing more CD updates uh, for now on, since uh, you know, since the English, since the uh, UK trip, since I was saving up for my UK trip, and it's about to end. Unfortunately, I'll be going back to Australia in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good, pretty good few weeks, especially uh, seeing Questy and seeing others, and. Uh, yeah, so it was a. It's been a very good holiday. I'm currently in Torquay, uh, down south in England, in Devon, and I'll be going up north and seeing Questy again. So yeah, let me know in the comments below you, what you collected in your CD collection update, in your CD collection, sorry, and I will see you in the next one.